Strictly Come Dancing's Pasha Kovalev has quit the show after eight incredible years, as he reveals his joy over scoring 93 perfect tens. Strictly Come Dancing professional dancer Pasha Kovalev has quit the show after eight incredible years on the show. The news will no doubt come as a huge surprise to his fans after he has endured great success on the show. Pasha, 39, met his long-term love Rachel Riley, 33 when they were partnered up together on the show back in 2013. And he also walked away with the glitter ball back in 2014, when he performed with Caroline Flack. Pasha tweeted on Wednesday, after scoring 93 perfect tens, reaching four finals and lifting one glitter ball, it's time for me to find a new challenge and so I've decided to make last year, my final season on Strictly. I've had eight fantastic years, full of wonderful memories. Thanks to the incredible partners, professionals and a myriad of behind-the-scenes teams who all work to make Strictly the amazing production that it is. The biggest thanks go to all the members of the public who've supported me so much over the years. I look forward to seeing you on the Strictly Pro Tour this spring, and for many more adventures to come. Caroline herself, wrote, So sad to hear the news that Pasha is leaving Strictly. You gave me some of the proudest moments in my life. The Strictly Twitter account first broke the news, sharing a picture of Pasha and Carolyn lifting the Glitter Ball trophy. They wrote, Sadly after eight incredible series, the brilliant at Pasha Kovalev has decided to leave hashtag Strictly. Pasha, from all of us, thank you for your amazing choreography and routines over the years. You'll be sorely missed. He is an incredibly talented and dedicated dancer who is much loved by his Strictly family and viewers and will be hugely missed. Since joining the show in 2011, he has competed in eight series, made it to four finals and was crowned champion with Caroline Flack in 2014. We would like to thank him for everything he has contributed to the show over the years and wish him the very best for the future. Strictly fans were very upset about the news and took to Twitter and their droves to express how they were feeling. They wrote, What fool drew up Posh's contract and didn't include a clause saying he's never allowed to leave under any circumstances whatsoever? Hashtag Strictly. In all honesty Pasha is one of the best, if not the best professionals the show has ever had. Ah Pasha you will be so missed. Your talent and dedication to dance is amazing. I have no doubt you will be fantastic at whatever challenge you throw yourself into next. Best of luck for the future. Meanwhile, Rachel couldn't resist but sharing a loved up snap of herself and boyfriend Pasha Kovalev for his 39th birthday on Saturday. The Countdown Beauty, 33, shared a snap of the couple where she went makeup free cozying up to her other half. It looked like the pair had an adventure-filled day as they donned head torches for the photo. She wrote, I am now dating a very handsome 39-year-old. Soon after her stint on the BBC talent show, Rachel split from university beau husband Jamie Gilbert. They had been married for 16 months. Yet Rachel previously admitted that Strictly may have contributed to her split from her husband. She said being away from home, while training, gave her thinking space to consider her relationship, which was already in trouble. Talking to Mail Online, she said, I was doing the gadget show on Channel 5. I was doing Countdown. Then Strictly. I was basically by myself for a few months, away from home. It gave me the distance to work out what I wanted. There's no doubt the timing contributed to the split, but I'm sure Strictly wasn't the reason. Would the marriage have ended anyway? Yes. It would have. It would just probably have been longer and more painful. Rachel began dating Pasha soon after and the pair have been loved up ever since. While the pair rarely share details of their romance, Rachel admitted that she wasn't looking for a relationship when she met the ballroom star in an interview with The Sun. The mathematician divulged, I can only speak for myself but if I had seen on paper that I would have ended up with a ballroom dancer from Russia. We didn't even speak the same language growing up. I liked football and maths, it doesn't really work, she continued, but I guess it's about personality and we just found we get on really well and we have a good relationship. Rachel, who is learning Russian, went on, he didn't go to you and I, we didn't watch any of the same programs but where we have our differences. It's interesting, you don't need to like the same stuff, she also said, his mom doesn't speak English, and his brother isn't that confident speaking it. The first time I met them Ali couldn't understand a word. 
it's a bit unnerving. But now when he Skypes his mother in Siberia I can say a few words, or work out what they're talking about. Meanwhile, earlier this year, the Oxford graduate shared she's not quite ready to become a mother yet. All my friends are getting pregnant at the moment. That's good for them, but it's currently not on my radar, she said in an exclusive interview in today's Mail on Sunday event magazine.